Here we are back at Nora's with Hulk and he is going to be demonstrating exactly the same commands as his sister. He is also sitting very nicely at Rich's left and we're using exactly the same training equipment. And the first exercise that they're going to be demonstrating for you is his ability to heal and the command is Hulk Heal. So the object of healing is that you're not getting dragged. You should be leading the walk, not the dog, no matter what size they are. He should be next to your left leg. He should be paying some attention to you. And when you stop your feet, he sits automatically. And you're going to see slight differences in the way they perform their commands, and that's just a matter of practice. Some things he does a little better than her, some things she does a little bit better than him. But they are both so much calmer and more relaxed and more responsive. Stay. This is your sit-stay. And again, you can practice the this, this stationary commands right inside your house. The healing you have to go outside with these giant puppies. Stay. And again, you're going to lengthen out the amount of time that they can hold it and the distance that you can go. And when you get out at the end of that six foot leash and they're holding it for a minute, you'll be able to drop the leash. And I mean a full minute. If Rich turns, you notice that Hulk, you know, kind of hangs back. Her automatic sits are a little bit better than his. And this time Rich will call him. All the way in, nice sit without being told. These kids have come such a long way. I think if you want to spend some time with your babies and um, you know practice with them at home I think that they're ready to go home and if you have any problems after you get them home you can call we are not that far away and we will come and help you with them whatever you need this is your come on command again <laughs> I don't think he likes the wet ground. But at least we got some sun so we can get your videos done. Nice healing, no real tension on the leash. Now he's better at laying down on command than she is, but he's not better at holding it than she is, and that's why Rich is standing in close. And that's just a matter of time, of practicing your downs over and over, and each time you go a little bit further away. Rich returns back to his shoulders, he praises him for a good job, and they take off healing again. And I taught Hulk to down indoors because a lot of dogs don't like to lay down outside. So definitely practice your downs right in your living room on a carpet or like I said a blanket, a dog bed. You just don't have to work so hard to get them to do it. And this time Rich will call him. No. <laughs> He's smelling something. He came and sat. Very good boy. Now we have demonstrated for you, both of your kids, all their obedience commands that they have learned while they've been here at school. Occasionally when you take one out and you leave the other one in their crate, they're going to yell, but they don't do it for long now. So 
I want you to not let that discourage you from taking one dog out and enjoying them at a time. If you're going to take them both out, then have their leashes on them so that you have control. We have totally enjoyed having them. They have been challenging, but they're a lot of fun and they're adorable. And we will see you tomorrow at 1030. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training.